What's going on? What's going on? Welcome back to Choker TV Modified, where today I'm doing a review of two bags. You know, I promised on my last video, not my last video, but the video I did with the ZPAP 85, that I would do a review on uh, these two bags that I have. The two bags that I have and I really like are the Vertex Commuter Bag and the Vertex uh, Commuter XL uh, 2.0. So, what I want to do, because there's other videos out there talking about these bags, they go more in detail, and I will show the features, but what I really want to do was to show you what would fit in these bags, because when you're trying to order a bag to carry a weapon or whatever else you're going to carry in there, you know, sometimes you can measure it and you say, okay, I got the right bag, or I believe I got the right bag, but then when you get it, you'll be like, eh, it really doesn't work. So, I'm going to show you what fits in these bags, okay, and you can see if you have that weapon, because we're talking about weapons today, if you have that weapon, exactly which weapon will, will fit in which bag. The first bag, the EDC Commuter Sling Bag, okay, hopefully you can see it. Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay, so this one, uh, EDC Commuter Sling Bag, uh, it has a, a feature on here, and you know it's specific for, eh, I guess, the shooter or people who are into carrying weapons because there's a feature on here that I'm going to show you in a few minutes. But this is the smaller bag, okay, if you can see. And to show you what will fit in there, if you remember this one, we have a, the Micro Draco. Okay, now let everybody know it is empty. Empty. Okay, as you can see. You can take this, okay, so if you have a micro Draco or anything that is small like this on the same similar size, so for the EDC commuter sling, it will fit in here. Now let me show you. Now also, remember, what I'm doing, I'm putting it in a compartment that necessarily you don't have to put it in this compartment because there's other compartments for it. But, and there's also magazine pouches in here, if you can see, okay? But, there it goes. You see that? Fits well in there, okay? And like I said, you got a magazine. And that is with the magazine and both weapon attached, okay? So now if you close this, there's another compartment, and the reason why I bring this compartment up is because they have a device on here. It's not a device, it's called, and I'll show you, it's called the Zip Open Now, EDC pull handle for fast draw access, okay? It's basically a zipper, but the zipper has this uh, plastic, like little handle, you can squeeze it, but what it does is that in case of an emergency, you know, when they say, in case of mercy, pull this cord or pull this lever, it's the same thing. So you're going to take this and you're going to pull it. And this other compartment opens. Now, this other compartment, if you had it on, and I'm going to show you how you would put it on too. It has a texture where you can Velcro different things. You can Velcro, uh, I'm going to show you what they put in here. You can Velcro a weapon, you can Velcro a magazine, uh, or maybe one of these handy knives, okay? And they show you just in case you don't get it, they put little Velcros on the back of it to show you that guess what? You can put Velcro in here. And also on the website, and also I got this from a place called Galls, okay, G-A-L-L-S. And they sell different uh, Velcro uh, slings and pouches that you can use in these bags, okay? 
like I said, I'm not going to go into all the features because there's other great videos out there on YouTube that show every feature. But if you want to see real quick, here we go. You have another pocket on the front, two zippers on the side. You can pull it open and you got like a little Molly uh, panel. Then if you want it to, which I wouldn't do it, you can have, instead of having this part exposed, okay, you can take it down, you can pull this up, you can stick this in here, and you can just have the Molly uh, exposed with different things, attachments on it. But me personally, I wouldn't do that because once you have anything exposed, you have to realize that somebody can come up behind you and take whatever you have exposed from that bag. So hopefully you'll be smart and not put anything of value or that can be used as a weapon against you or someone else outside that bag. So that's one pocket. Okay, put that back up here. Okay. And then also, you can put a ballistic panel. And this is what I talked about last time uh, in the last video. Not the last, I keep saying last video, but it was the video where I did the ZPAP 85. Okay, the review on that. In here, you can place, if you can see, a ballistic panel inside here. Now, before, let's, People might say, well, why would you need a ballistic panel? Now, if you're not familiar with tactical things, let's say you got a situation. And, you know, recently we've had a lot of shootings in malls and um, schools, grocery stores. So, let's say you was in a situation. God forbid, but it could happen. And let's say you see the subject who's shooting. Now, are you going to run right to that, that person because you got a ballistic uh, panel here? No. But in the case of an emergency... You would take this bag, okay, and there's a little place in here where you can put your hand and it goes through almost kind of like a shield, kind of like a police shield, okay? And you have the strap up here where you can get some kind of shielding. Now, I don't want to get into tactics, but there's a big difference between cover and shielding. Cover and shielding, okay? In a shooting situation, you want shielding. Cover is fine, but you want shielding. Shielding is going to be something that's going to prevent that round from penetrating you and incapacitating you, causing you not to be able to function. So anyway, with this bag, the EDC Commuter Sling, you can put comfortably micro draco in here let me show you again let me show you again i'm gonna try to make this short too you see so if you were looking to get a bag okay to take to the range for a specific type of weapon the micro draco the micro draco fits perfectly in this bag Perfect. Now, on to the next bag. All right, now we're gonna look at the Commuter Sling 2.0. Okay, it's still in the plastic because I haven't utilized this bag yet, but it's perfect for what will fit in there. And I'll show you. So, some of the same features as before, so I'm not gonna go over this. You have the Molly panel in here. Uh, same panels, but what I want to show what will fit in here if you want to buy this bag, okay? Now, this is the bigger brother, okay? Can you see it? Commuter XL Sling 2.0. And I'll give you the dimensions, but you can see it's much, it's much bigger, much bigger bag. But... What would fit in here? So if you want to buy this, and you say, man, what can I, will it fit this weapon? I'm going to show you. Let's see here. What do we, what do we have here? Let 
ZPAP85. You guys remember this, right? So anyway, so let's open this up and let's see if it'll fit. Now, I know it will fit because, of course, I've already tried it. Okay, I'm sorry. I forgot safety-wise. So, empty. Can you see that? One thing I really love about the ZPAP 85 is that the bolt locks back on the last when the last round is fired it locks back watch this well of course I'm not gonna fire it because I'm not in the facility fire but watch this watch this here we go look at that beautiful Zastav arms you gotta love them it is empty okay so now now, mind you, I'm going to put it in the pocket with the strap, not the Velcro strap, okay? So, if you have something similar to a ZPAP 85, guess what? It's going to fit. It fits in there well. Plenty of room with the magazine attached. Okay, I got this. Like I said, I don't use this one. Haven't used it. Will use it though, sooner than later. So, of course, if it fits in this first compartment, guess what? It's gonna fit in this other compartment, which is bigger. This is the thing with this bag. This compartment right here, which you would have to have, I'm trying to hold this up, if you can see that. You would have to have some kind of Velcro straps in here to hold it. You would have to, okay? Because otherwise, it's gonna fall out. But the reason for this compartment, and you don't wanna have too much stuff in here because this compartment, um, it's kinda tight and it's, in, and it's rigid. So it's not a lot of flex in it, which is good. Just like if you had a holster, you don't wanna have a lot of flex uh, in your holster. You wanna have that rigid. But when you have this rapid access tag, when you have this on here, and when you open it up, this is going to be what you're grabbing. And of course, you got to position it so if you're going to pull it out, it's positioned correctly. So what does that mean? Just like with a holster and this bag, you have to practice. Now, if you have watched my videos, you may say, you know, this dude, he's a little biased uh, towards uh, the AKs. You know, he really likes the AKs, which I do. That is my favorite platform but for you AR rifle shooters check this out if for some reason you want to put an AR rifle in here to shoot guess what yeah let me put let me take that back a full size AK or AR rifle will not fit it's not gonna fit okay but if you have a AR pistol or AK pistol even with a folding stock Okay, no, I'm sorry, not a folding stock, a folding brace. Okay, let me clarify. You cannot have a stock on an AR pistol, otherwise you're in violation. You have what they call an SBR, which is a short bell rifle. So if you have a folding brace on there, it's gonna fit. So guess what? I know people say I'm a little biased to it. What do we have here? Let's take a look. There you go. You got an AR pistol. Can you see it? Fits in there very well. Very well. All right. And guess what? Sooner than later, there's going to be a, re a review on this. Okay. Good old Springfield Saint. But enough of it. YouTube, that concludes my review of the Vertex Commuter Sling and Commuter Sling 2.0. Okay, so hopefully now you know what will fit in these bags if you decide you want to purchase them. Now, I'm not sponsored by this company, 
you know, I just started YouTube, so I don't even have that many followings. But I believe with this platform, information is key. So, hey, here to give you guys a little entertainment. Also here to give you some information. So, you'll know if you want to purchase these bags. And understand this, the commuter sling, the smaller bag, is around 142 bucks. So, they're not cheap. So, before you spend that kind of money, you should know what you are getting. So, Hopefully that has helped. So once again, thank you for watching Choker TV Modified. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And coming up very soon, very soon, I have a modification coming up. And it's not weapon related. Oh, it's not weapon related. But let me tell you, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. And it's going to be fun. So, hey, tune back in. Watch the other videos. And until then, be blessed and not stressed. Later. All right, YouTube. That, conc that concludes. Uh, 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 uh.